Hey, welcome back to Top Agent Training. I am Curtis Clock with Inspections Over Coffee. We're going to spend a few minutes today talking about uh, sewer scopes. Uh, not a sexy business, that's for sure, but necessary nonetheless. Um, if you're newer to being an agent or uh, maybe come from a part of town, part of the country where sewer scopes aren't as prevalent, um, you might this might be a totally new thing for you. So I'm just going to hit kind of the highlights. Um, a sewer scope, best way to think of it, colonoscopy for the house. A little bit gross, right? But there's no way to look at the inside of the sewer line um, unless you have a really expensive camera with a high quality um, ability to get in there and see everything to make sure that there's no issues. Um, it's, it, it is kind of expensive compared to uh, what you might anticipate. You're like, well, it's just a quick look at the inside of the drain line. But the problem is the cameras, um, they're self-leveling, they're 4K, they're you have to have really specialized training to do this. And we've participated in thousands of these. The cameras cost between like 8,500 to like 13,000. And so in order to make that, and they kind of can break easily as well. So in order to make that work financially, you're usually gonna spend anywhere from like 150 to $300 uh, for a sewer scope, um, usually done by a licensed plumber. So typically there should be a, like these, if you ever gone to a newer house, you'll see these two, little caps uh, near the front of the house. You don't want to cover those up. Those are called your sewer cleanouts, And they are like a bullhorn thing like this, right? So one that the makes the camera go that way out to the street and the other one makes the camera go that way into the house. So you could look at uh, both the line under the house and the line out. With the sewer line being underground, if there is any problems, what kind of problems can there be? There could be root intrusion, damage, um, offsets. Offsets is where normally you got the pipe connected like this and it ships. And with that kind of a shift, things can start to get caught up. And if things get caught up, that's when you end up with blockages. Um, sometimes you can have damage where the pipes are connected. You can have damage where the pipes are connected to the city main. Um, you, there's certain types of piping like Orangeburg and cast iron that was installed 50, 60 years ago. And it's kind of at the end of its life. And um, again, if you can imagine just, just you as a person, if I said, hey, I want you to dig up 30 feet worth of line and replace the piping without any specialized knowledge or, or the materials, like what would you want to charge just to dig all that up? So again, two $250, put the camera inside the line, see what condition it's in. Um, when we teach these longer classes and realtors go, well, my clients don't want to spend $200 just to find out that there's nothing wrong. And I'm like, right, I get that. And then there's other clients that go, I want to spend $200 and find out there's nothing wrong. So again, we're consultative. Our job is to basically say, these are all the things that you can learn about your house. You either pay and learn or you don't pay and you potentially inherit problems. And normally if you got to dig up a sewer line, you're starting like $2,000, $2,500. So, um, and up from there, I've seen new sewer lines cost $30,000, $40,000 potentially. Um, one common misconception is that if the house is on septic, you don't need a sewer inspection. That's not true. Um, it is true that if you're on septic, you typically have to pump the septic as the seller. Um, usually the counties require that. And then you do a camera inspection inside there, but they don't actually go up into the sewer line. At home inspection, we're kind of stuck to just what's inside the home. Uh, now, sometimes someone will say, well, there, everything was flowing right, backing up, wasn't backing up and all that good stuff. And you're like, well, yes, but I mean, if there's some kind of blockage, like basically a backup is the last symptom. Like if you have a backup in your house, then your, then your costs go up exponentially because you've got like, you know, you have a poop disaster basically in your house. So to clean all that up costs a lot extra E. coli tests afterwards. I mean, it's a whole, it's a whole mess, right? Um, so a sewer scope is a good idea um, just to find out what's going on with the line. And if there's nothing wrong with it, great. I mean, I live in a brand new house built a year ago. I had a sewer scope done and we found that the vendors um, had poured paint down there. So we had to do, take a couple of steps to get that out. Um, people think that sometimes it's just based on like certain neighborhoods and certain age, but the reality is, you know, with root intrusion and broken pipes and all that kind of stuff, it can happen at any time. And as a company in multiple states, we find just as many problems percentage wise on newer homes as we do older homes. Um, we literally found one on a brand new home, never been lived in, where they ran the pipes out, came in and ran right back in again. So like literally it would have been a catastrophe if they not done the, the sewer scope. So look, mistakes happen. Um, on brand new homes, we've seen vendors break up concrete and just push it down the drain, chemicals down the drain, paint down the drain, not connected properly, um, just different things like that. So that's what a sewer scope is. And if your clients want to add one on, um, we offer sewer scopes and we can uh, help you guys with that. And again, it gets the re you get what you get is you get a report that says, we didn't find anything wrong. Uh, we found something wrong and 
we, we need a little more due diligence or we definitely found structural damage that need to be dug up and fixed. So one more thing I want to add is every once in a while we show up to an older house and there's no clean outs because they didn't install when they built the house. So now that's actually a finding. That is a problem that we write down. And just because we couldn't get into the line doesn't mean the sewer scope didn't happen. Like code and all that stuff says there's supposed to be those clean outs there. And those usually run $1,500 to $2,000 to install. Now what we will do is we will try to get onto a roof and go in through a plumbing roof vent or with permission from the seller, we could pull a toilet and go in through the toilet line and go out. But just know that the right answer the by the book answer is that you should have clean outs installed, which again means someone has to dig down, install those pipes to go up so that they're accessible um, in an easy place. So I'm not promising that that's everything you'll ever need to know about sewer scopes, but um, that should cover most of it and get you off to a good start. So that's sewer scopes. We'll see you on the next training.